Good day guys, welcome to the channel. We've got the C8 in the shop today and we're going to put on some accessories. But before we do that, let's see if there's a winner in the contest we had on the last video where there was a $50 giveaway. If you could guess what's in this box. Let's open her up. Okay, so in the box we have By the way, there were some pretty interesting guesses and some of them made me laugh but all in all pretty good guesses some of them are things that i would have guessed but one person did however guess this so i will have to uh, send them 50 dollars. but i'll let you know what it is now these are radiator protector grills okay so what they are is uh as you can see the front of the grill or the uh, c8 here the the radiators are very exposed and a lot of people are saying that they get damaged from stone chips and bugs and stuff. So there's a honeycomb kind of grill that goes behind here that helps protect it. And that is what we got this time. So Mark G, Mark G, if you're there and you're watching, uh, message me on Facebook uh, at 519 Auto Tech or Instagram, same thing, 519 Auto Tech. Send me a message with your email in it and I'll send you to $50. But before we install these today, I wanna show you something else that I did to the vehicle earlier when I first got the car um, that I didn't show you yet that is also along these lines of protecting the car. So I just got the mud guards from the dealership. They finally came in for the C8. And uh, you know, they, they called me and they said they were in and they said, you know, we'll set up an appointment to have them put on. And I mean, these are real easy. So instead of making an appointment and you know, getting these put on by the dealership, it is going away for storage tomorrow for about a month or so until my garage is done and I'll bring it back home. But um, I said, you know what? It's gonna be in storage. Why don't I pick them up tonight on the way home? Um, I'll grab them and throw them on myself. Um, and it's just funny because, you know, these things are like $300 or something crazy like that. And this is the original one I took off from the rear. And this is the new one. And you can see that it's just this lip that's extra, but it looks like it's enough that, uh, I've installed it on the left rear here. It's enough that it sticks out I don't know if you can see that just enough to take away the outside edge of the tire any stone flying up from here so although it looks like you know you're only getting a quarter inch to about an inch down here uh, it's enough that it'll stop anything flying out from there um, and the front I haven't done yet but you can see the outside edge of the tire um, there is a bit sticking out at the bottom which is probably why you get stone chips up the side here and this being a target of some of those stones. So we'll see what the front looks like. Um, but again, it may be just that inch or so that sticks out um, that would be enough to block the stones. But it's just uh, strange, you know, you spend 300 bucks and you only get like that much more of a mud guard. So, but it works. And there they are, the fronts are on as well. So all four are on now. Um, and hopefully that'll give it a little more protection, just enough that it needs that you don't uh, get any stone chips up the sides or the so back. So here's here. all the pieces. They're, they're from the Radiator Grill Store. You can get that at radiatorgrillstore.com. No, it is not a sponsored video. I did pay for these. I think they were 200 and something dollars US. And some of you might say, oh, that's pretty uh, expensive for you know pieces of plastic that you can cut out of, uh, cut out of uh, you know sheets of, uh, I think it's, uh, east trough protector or something or grills well you want to do that you go ahead I, I didn't feel like cutting it all out so you get lazy when you get older and uh, you spend money instead but anyway uh, these are already pre-fit cut and uh, these are for the big grills in the front that you've seen these are right beside it I think they're actually brake vents or something um, and then these are for the side grills here as you can see uh, the radiator is pretty exposed under there and so we want to put one of those in front of uh, both sides to protect those those radiators. So we had to switch hoists because there's no way we're getting those arms on the other hoist uh, underneath the car. Way too low. Uh, but see, here's the, the mud guards, right? They stick out about an inch this way, which is great. But underneath, if you look here, see how this is all peppered with mud and stuff that the tires are throwing up. And you can see here, 
goes up the side as well because if you look at the angle it's throwing from the tires up to here and it's catching all this area so it's a good thing we've got PPF on this area uh, because uh, otherwise all these would eventually be marks okay so after removing the 300 or so bolts of different sizes and things that hold the uh, plastic shields and the uh, lowering skirt or the lower skirt here uh, you can see the radiators if you can see that I already have some marks on it I've only got about 600 uh, clicks on it or so uh, and part of the protector here that goes into this uh, brake cooler um, it's because of that radiator you can see a corner of the radiator is exposed and that'll help protect that as well okay so we got the one side in and uh, uh, minimal damage the reason I didn't show you is because while well, we were experimenting and uh, didn't want to show you our mistakes but we got this side in. I'll show you on the other side of the process but a uh, little damage uh, just uh, I nick the radi uh, radiator a bit so it's just got a little damage on it. no big deal but um, not damage I shouldn't say that. it's just a little scratch on it but I what happened was on these if you can see this there's a smooth side and then a uh, or I mean a smooth side on this side and then the you know exposed side here I didn't catch that at first so I put it in backwards or the wrong side in and I had to pull it out and when I was pulling it out it just touched the radiator a bit and it put a little line across it but I mean not a big deal not not yeah really really have to look to see it but it looks a lot better how it's blacked out on this side uh, compared to this side here see how that's exposed um, and then you know how blacked out that is I think that's a way better look Okay, now what we found from doing the other side is that if you put the, the bigger piece in first, uh, again, be very careful uh, not to scratch the radiator. So um, you might want to reach in here and pull up on the piece. Here, let's try it this way. Just want to use your fingers to pull it away from the rad a bit so it doesn't scratch it because I mean it's very delicate as soon as I touch it even with my fingers it puts a little mark in the radiator so imagine what it's doing you know if a stone hits it or when bugs hit it um, you're putting marks in it every time there is a piece of plastic here that if you move it helps you uh, get it in there a little easier right there Now, if you take this piece, slide it in. That one's a little easier to get in. And just slide it up. It's a pretty tight fit, so don't be afraid to push on it a little bit. You're not going to damage anything. And once it goes in all the way, and you can put this one in place and what I did is um, on the other side I used four uh, tie straps four small tie straps to come around you know places where you're not going to see it that much near the joints um, and I, I just put four and then after you cut off the ends you just twist it underneath so that the head is way back here and you don't see it now something we try to do is just line them up so that it's you know straight it looks kind of appealing to the eye so I just pick a few spots and make sure that it's level uh, across so that it, it looks, uh, you know, the way they have them in perfect lines. So we try to match that, but it's kind of a fishing, uh, you're on a little bit of a fishing trip when you're doing these uh, tie straps. Um, when you're poking them through, you've got to make a sharp turn. We've been using these little uh, needle nose pliers to grab the ends and pull them through, but uh, a little tricky to do, especially if you're by yourself. I'm actually holding this up right now and pulling it towards when he's doing that. Uh, although you can do it yourself, I'm just saying it's a little easier if you got an extra guy. Now when you got all your straps, tie straps done, then you can simply just clip it away as close as you can. Right, and then 
then just flip it, turn it towards the inside so you can't notice it from the top. Just like that. Okay, so all the straps are on, cut, and it's in place. Looks absolutely fantastic. It's really blacked out the front end, which uh, to me looks a lot better anyway. But my brother thinks that it was better when the rads were showing, but uh, I like the blacked out look better. Matches the car. Now we'll do the side ones. So again, you can see here how exposed this, uh, this uh, I think it's a transmission cooler actually, I think this one, but so exposed. Now, I know I realize that a lot of stuff won't you know, fly into there, but all it takes is a couple of stones and uh, it could do some damage. Okay, the grill on this side went in. Little bit of fighting, but we got it in place. That seems uh, to be where it's supposed to be. But this side, we've been fighting with it. And I think we're gonna modify it because I'm sick of fighting with it. Um, you can see here, the only thing holding it is that that uh, mount bolt right there. I can't get by that. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut a little notch in the plastic and that'll help uh, pull it through. Now, I'm, I know you're not supposed to, somehow it's supposed to go on there, but I can't figure it out and uh, uh, so I'm gonna trim it. And there we go, that one's in place. Yeah, we took out a little bit too much maybe there, but it's uh, not, not very noticeable and it'll stop stones or anything from getting in there. Now on a difficulty scale uh, from one to 10, the front being not too bad, two or three, not very difficult. Those are pretty quick to do. Uh, the back ones though gave me some troubles and uh, those I had to finagle quite a bit and I had to take a piece out of this one uh, just to make it work because I didn't want to break them. Uh, so I cut a little section out. I would say that's probably about a seven or eight difficulty. Uh, it just takes some finagling and some time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.